Well hey there, thanks for stopping by and if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Robbie Greer from Rusticated Art and this is Fun Times Family Art where you get to draw along with me in the comfort of your own home. <laughs> now this week I had a request from one of my young subscribers. She asked me if I could do a tutorial using the different uh, grades of pencil. And I thought, well, why not? She asked, so I thought, what can I do? Hmm, what can I do? So this tutorial is all about how I go about creating my drawings. I show you the tools that I use. Now basically, I only use what, four pencils in most of my drawings anyway. Um, I use other pencils and it's, you know, when there's more detail involved or there's more depth required. But I thought I'd just show you the pencils that I use generally. So, first of all, I use uh, an HB. Now, HB is in the middle of the, of the spectrum, if you like. And then I use a 2B, and it's a little bit darker. And then I use a 4B, and I don't often go over a 4B. That's with the wood case pencils. Now on the other end of the scale, you have the H series, which is, H stands for hard. And I'm gonna be using an H pencil as well. Actually, I use a 2H pencil. And basically I'll be showing you how I go about layering. Because that's how we do a drawing, we layer it. We start with the, the beginning, the outline, add some graphite, take it out, blend it, you know, it's, just, it's an ongoing process. And I'm going to take you through step by step from woe to go. Or is it from go to woe? Now, if you'd like to check out my young subscriber's channel, she's from India, and she really likes doing crafts. And she's got a couple of drawings in there as well. Now this is her channel, something new for you. And I'm sure she'd appreciate it if you called in and said hi. Tell her grandpa sent you. <laughs> so anyway, what do you reckon? Are you ready to get started? Oh, come on then. <laughs> All right, now for today's exercise, I'm just gonna be using wood case pencils. And I only use basically four different pencils. And by that I mean, what the darkest I'd probably use, but for general drawing we're talking here, not, not you know, there are exceptions where you would use a darker pencil. I find that these four pencils do the job for me. Now on top of that, I also use a Tombow eraser, Mono Zero eraser. The first thing I do is do the outline. Now I use the ruler, a set square, and I do that only because it just makes it easier, especially for beginners, to stay in place. And when you get more experienced at it, you don't need to use a ruler for a lot of things. Now, so that's using my 2H. Then I'll go in with my, my HB. Now I've got these leads sharpened down, but because I don't, pencil sharpener I've got is not all that good. So I just like to use a, use a Stanley knife and I have a longer lead. And then I use sandpaper to sharpen that up. Very fine grit. Most, most drawing kits that you buy, pencil drawing kits that you buy, have, have sandpaper in there. And that's what they're for. Just for keeping the tip sharp. Because they go soft very quickly. They go dull very quickly. Right now, the next thing we do now this is using my HB pencil, is I hold it on its side, I hold it as flat as I can, and then we just very, very lightly try and keep your strokes as long as you can. Now I'm just using a sketch pad, which is 110 GSM. That's grams per square meter. So paper, although it feels flat, has actually got what they call a tooth. So I'm just putting down the graphite using my HB pencil. Now, what happens is, that because this has a tooth in it, if you look real close, now I'll bring this in so we can see. And if you notice, you'll see, I'll bring it right in, it's able to stay in focus. So, and you'll see how it looks like sort of like a grainy sort of a texture. And that's how we get the, the grain of the timber to give it, to make it look like it is actual wood. And that's just from using my HB. And then I'll look closely and then I'll find these little textures in here and I thought right that's going to be how the grain of the timber is so I use all the tools that are there and you see them in there they're all yours will be different because 
Each, different, each drawing is different, each piece of paper is different, each pencil is different, even though they might be the same brand, how I laid down the graphite, you know, it would be different. So you just got to look and you'll see them there, it just makes it so much easier. All I'm doing is just guiding the pencil. Right, now that's with my HB. Now, if I wanted to get a little bit darker, and we will, like for example on the outside here, we want that to be darker. So now I'm going to use my 2B. So we do it darker on the outside, and that will give the impression that it's round. But that just gives you the idea of the texture anyway, from the grain of the actual paper. So what we're really doing is we're layering the graphite. So we lay it down. The first part of the process is to lay down the graphite. And you see I've picked up a little bit of the way the grain of the timber is on the, on the post. It's an old post we're drawing here. And then what I'll do, I'll go in with my blending brush and just give it a very light blend. And all we're doing is softening it up. Softening up the graphite. We're pushing it around where we want it to go. Now see, what we're trying to do here, because I use a very light line to put down the, the outline of the post, and we've got to try and match that darkness. So now I'm going to use my 4B. Same again, just very, very lightly. And bring it right out to that line. Because there's no lines. There's no lines when you see things, you know. We have to use a line to draw something. So we are within that boundary, but when you go out and look at a post, there's no line out there in the paddock. It's a post. It has an edge. You see I've gone over a little bit there, that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter at all. That's why we have erasers. Then I'm going to use blending brush again, just to come in there and just soften that up. Over here. And the texture's starting to come through now. Now what I'm going to do is just take that there out. We all went over the line. And the chances are, in reality, that's not going to be perfectly straight anyway. And we don't want the ruler edge straightness. Rub that out. I'll brush away the crumb. Now I'm going to go in again. This time I'm going to use my HB. And we'll just put a bit more grain in. Now for example, let's say this is the top here. Well it is the top. We'll make that the top. It was going to be just a section of the post. But we'll make that the top. So I'm just going over like that. And it might be a split there down here like this. Remember these are old hardwood posts. This time I'm going to use my blending stump. Just want to very very lightly don't push hard. See how we're building up the layers? Alright so what we've got here really is just a basic post with a little bit of texture. So what I want to do is now let's just get in here and do a little bit more detail so it's going to use my HB and let's just say that this has got a big split down here and we'll change that around a bit at the top as well let's make it look like an old post you know like what we're trying to do here I'll just show you by using different tools different pencils that we can create a, a different look it's all about layering. We have to do it in layers to get the effect that we're after. Now, I'm going to just come down here, a line down here like this, and then another line down here like that as well. And then I'm going to come in and just make that darker in there because it's going to be darker because it's back. And then we're just going to put in some more, more lines. This is just using my HP. The point I'm trying to make is that we don't need to use a lot of different values in the sense of value by value I mean you know darkness to create what we're after. Now over here, I'm just going to rub that bit out actually. Brush away the crumb. Now I'm going to put a little knot in here. Now, to try and to create the different texture like of the knot, I'm just going to shade that in. Now all I'm doing is using my HP pencil. Now, I'll just bring that over a bit. So basically, we really what we've got is pretty much the same value all the way through. Now I'm going to use my blending brush just to soften that up a bit. I'm going to use a 2B just to go in here. 
See, I'm not doing a continuous line, I'm just doing strokes like this because that, that way it, it enables us to sort of not get it too straight. We don't want it too straight. Alright, and here. And then I want to just darken the side up a little bit there. It's obvious that, you know, it, the darker it is, the further away it is. And I, and I don't want this to be as straight as this, so I'm just going to sort of come over a bit too. It just don't look right, does it, when it's too straight? But the pencil ruling, the ruling in the, the, the first line is just, just a guideline. Here's like that. And here's a blending stump, just to blend all that in. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my Tombow, my eraser, to take a little bit out. Now, this is the whole thing with graphite drawing is we, we put down the graphite, we blend it, we take it out. And it's, it's the process, that's how we build up our layers. For example, look here, it's a little bit lighter there. Just following that dark line down, you see? Because with a lot of these old timbers and that, you find that they've got ruts in them, and and I think it's just from the age, you know, the, the, the wear and tear from the, well, the extreme weather conditions, I guess. Just like that. And do another one here. Yeah, we've done fences and fence, uh, different kinds of fences and that before. But we never actually, I don't think I have anyway, actually just sat down and show you how to go about creating the textures. See what's happening here? So then I get a little brush here to brush away the crumb, and then we go back in again. I'm going to go in with my 2B. Because these knots, what they are, well originally they were branches, and they've been chopped off or fallen off. Put a little bit more grain in there. So that's what we're left with, a beautiful little knot. Now, I'm going to come down here. Take it a little bit out. Just using my 4B now, a little bit darker. It's about contrast. Dark light, dark light, see? And then you've got your mid-tones, like here, there's a mid-tone. Using my 4B. And probably 4B probably would be about the darkest pencil I would use for most things. And then you probably find that there's little, little darker little grains in there. And I'm just pressing very lightly. See so at the beginning when we put all those lines in, well, they're still there. Even though we've gone over them a few times. Use my blending brush. Soften it up. And I want to just use my 2H just to tidy that side up there so it's not so furry looking yeah. just very lightly it's the lightest pencil that I use same on this side you use that when you sort of want to put lighter shading in I'll take a little bit out of there a bit out of there so you see how we're doing it just by using basically four different pencils we can create a three-dimensional drawing and those four pencils that we're using are HB, 2B, and the darkest I've gone to is a 4B, and the lightest is a 2H. So that's what makes it possible to be able to draw in a three-dimensional way using just the, a, a grayscale. And it's about layering. I, I can't stress enough how much, how important it is to be layering. That, that's, you can't just draw it. You've got, you've got to start at the beginning. It's like building something. You've got to start at the beginning and then slowly put down layers. Build it up. Taking it out, putting it back. And that's how we do it. Now, the other thing is I'd probably be using a mechanical pencil, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I want to just stick with the wood pencils. By that I mean wood case pencils. I mean, it could be a little bit broken out there. And then sometimes what I'll do is I will get my blue tack or needable eraser, stretch it out a bit. You got a nice white bit there. And then I'll go in and just take some out, just randomly. You know, it's amazing what you can get, the, the effects you can get from just doing that. You see, it's all black there. All right, we just pull it all out and it's all good to go again. Little holes in there just. Could have been a nail in there or something. That just about do it, I think. Really, it's just a little exercise in, in, in putting down graphite, taking it out, putting a bit more back in, blending it, 
And by doing this, I mean, we can put, we can put a lot more layers on this. We can just keep doing it, you know? But this is just to give you the idea. And, and as you get better at it, you'll see it yourself. But what I'm trying to get at is, everything takes a little bit of time, but you'll get there. It's gonna darken that little bit up there. And I'm just using my, my 2H pencil here, because I don't want it too dark. I just wanted to just put a little bit of more texture in that bit there, that's all. So I hope that was helpful in the sense that by just using four pencils, I know the question was, can you show me how to use all of the pencils, but you don't really need to. You got your 2H, here, I'll just put this over here, and I'm just using the weight of the pencil. That's a hard, H stands for hard. 2H, and of course if you push harder, it will go darker. And then we've got HB, now HB is sort of in the middle. You know, it's in the middle of the, of the, of the range of pencils. And we've got our 2B. So yeah, they're getting a little bit darker. And then we have 4B, which I find, personally, I find that to be dark enough for, for the drawings that I mainly do. Now, if you wanted to go real dark, here's, but I don't know if this is, it says 12B. All right, well, this is what a 12B looks like. It is quite dark, but I find the darker they go, the grainier, the grainier they are, and I don't always necessarily like the grainy texture. Here's a 5H, and I quite like that because it's not grainy at all. And different brands of pencil, I mean, I've, I've got three or four different brands here. I've got Stadler, I've got Derwin, Faber-Castell, and you know, they're, they're pretty good brands. And that was a 4B there, now here's a 7B, this is a Montmartre, that's darker again. But you know, I didn't think we needed to use that. For the drawing but when you get your pencils get them out and, and do that make yourself a little chart so you, you can see what darkness you mean what tonal values you're going to be needing to do your drawing and most of the time as i said the four tonal values that we used was the uh, 2h hb 2b and the 4b that was enough i'll just write that down beside them so we know 2h hb 2b 4B, and that was a 12B, well, a so called 12B, 5H, and that was a 6, uh, 7B. Well, I think that'll just about do us for now. That gives you an, an, an idea of what sort of pencils to use. Well, thanks so much for watching through to the end. That really does mean a lot to me. And once again, I really enjoyed sharing this with you, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. You know, drawing doesn't have to be hard. Just take your time, break things down into the, to the most basic shapes, and you'll get there. Now, don't forget to check out Something New For You channel. I know she really appreciate you stopping by. Now, if you're new to my channel, and it's the first time you've been here, I'll leave a link up here to my playlist, Fun Times Family Art, so you can watch right from the beginning. <laughs> Now, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I'll get back to you and share it with your friends. If you like it, they'll like it and they'll love you for it. <laughs> and don't forget, it's free to subscribe. So hit that button and don't forget to ring the bell. That way you'll get notified every time a new video comes out. And remember, a family that draws together, stays together. <laughs> well anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.